Good morning, my lovers. I'm back out on ooh, someone else's field. I'm on Tony's field today, and look, it's ploughed. Ooh, ploughed land. So, yeah, we're gonna see what we can find. We've got a lovely signal over here. Should we go and see what it is? Oh, I found my first coin. Yeah, first coin. I could have done with my knee pads today. Got to kneel down in the mud. <laughs> oh. Let's get my glasses off. Is it Roman? Uh, no. Yeah, is it a George? Oh, a bit crusty. Yeah, it's a George. Methinks it's a George. Let's give it a rub on the magic trousers. Uh, oh, right, George the second, I think. Is it? Funny looking head. Got a very narrow neck. Very narrow. Right, lovely jubbly. You're not going to get a date off this one. Me, me don't think so. Can't even, can't even see where it would be on this side. Right, lovely jubbly. Off and running. Oh, Tony's the first one to hit the relics. Look at that. Look at that. That is a catch plate to a Roman brooch. Little pin would have hooked onto there, a bit like a safety pin. Pin would have gone on, onto that bit there. We've got a bit of decoration. It's been silver washed. Got a bit of silver still on there. Lovely jubbly. Well done, Tony. Right, let's see what other epic relics we can find. Oh, Tony's found something else. Well, I thought it was a piece of lead, but it's got like a little design on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is. So, um, oh, it's a token, lead token. Uh, with a big H and two pellets. Smooth on that side. But yeah, these would have been used for like um, coinage for poor people, I think. Um, so quite old. Uh, 1400s, 1500s. Oh, wow. Tone's just handed me this. I think he's got a Roman coin. Looks like a minim. A minimin. Oh, I can feel bumps. Uh, is it a minim? Right, let's get. Let's kneel down and uh, get a bit closer. Uh, yeah. Got some details. Uh, let's give it a light rub on the magic trousers. Uh, something going on in there. Is that a head? Is that a f oh, I can see a face. Yeah, I can see a face. I got a nose, an ear. And a head. <laughs> and on this side, quite good condition, isn't it? It's not toasted at all. No, this side's a bit worse, sir. Not yet. Where's it gone? It's there somewhere. They had it a second ago. Yeah, he's there somewhere. There's a head. <laughs> right, lovely jubbly. Wow, this oh, what well, to come back here again, Tone. <laughs> oh, I just dug what I thought was a button, and it's not a button. It's an ancient relic. Ancient. Yeah, it is an ancient relic. It's a beehive thimble. A beehive thimble. Yeah, look at the dots, all put on by hand. Back in the, the dark ages. Lovely jubbly. Look at that. A beehive thimble, because it's shaped like a beehive. Yeah. What's the date of that one? I have to look that one up on the database. My finds the Avon officer is gonna get he's gonna he's gonna be busy when I bring in all my stuff. Oh, Tone's found a coin! Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a bit crooked. <laughs> Been whacked by the plough. 
Uh, yeah, give it a rub on the magic trousers, this one. Hopefully it will be transformed into an intact Roman coin. Uh, mm, yeah, totally crustified. Yeah, I'd say it's not, it's quite round, so I imagine it's Georgian or something. Well, I can't see something on there. What's that? Do you see anything on there? Looks like a flower or something in the middle. Or is it just the corrosion? What do you think? Oh, I was just wandering around the field and I've been picking up things. Doing a bit of field walking. Look at that for a nice bit of rim. Of a Roman storage jar. Lovely jubbly. And you've got some flints. Yeah, I don't know if that edge looks nibbled or not. I don't think it is, but uh, it could be just a flake. Because uh, this is all like limestone around here, so I don't think it's natural. So somebody thousands of years ago has been... Uh, see, that one's been struck. Let's get the ripples. Uh, yeah, thousands of years ago, someone's been in here. Prehistoric man. Bulb of percussion, I think, there, look. Might be a little scraper. And the Romans have definitely been here. Look, oyster shell. Two bits of oyster shell. Roman fish and chips. Uh, look, they've been eating well. Deer. This is a this is a fossil. I think it's a huge clam. Fossilised clam. And here, look. I've got a bit of Samian ware. Look, it's got a decoration. Look, a slight bit of... Going around the edge there. I'm pretty sure that's Samian ware. It's got like a, a velvety uh, glaze. So that's high-end pottery. You know, the people in the Romans era, they were wealthy. So high-end uh, Roman pottery, Samian ware. Oh, I just got this signal down here. I kicked the dirt off the surface because it was quite loud. At 12.23, and I think I got a Roman coin. What did I do with it? I dropped it. Ah, there it is. Here she blows. Ow! Oh, God! <laughs> Pesky rocks in this field! Someone to cripple myself. Right. Oh, yeah. That's Roman, all right. Yeah, oh, we've got a hem emperor facing to the left. He's got one of those uh, Moicans. Is that a helmet? It's, it's a helmet, isn't it? A Moican helmet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Roman. Woohoo! Roman! My first Roman coin. Something going on at the back. Oh, it's got one of them um, stands with a ball on the top. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's find some more. Oh, I just found another Roman, but it's a bit wasted. The only way I can tell it's a Roman is because it's got a lump in the middle where the head would be. But uh, it is completely at it. Yeah, I think that's definitely a Roman. But uh, yeah, he's uh, been mangled in the plough for a, a long time. Oh! Tone's just found this. We reckon it's a ring. Or a bit of one. Oh, my finger's a bit wide, but you can get the idea. Yeah, a bit of a ring. Might have, you might even have something on there. Yeah, I think I think there's a figure on 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 the uh, the bit. I think there's a figure on this. Yeah. Like a little waxy, sealy type figure. Lovely jubbly finds on this field are epic. Oh, the sun's just come out. It's been piddling down. Right, what's this here? I think I got a relic. Uh, oh. What is it? It's got a hole in it. Is that a hole? What is that? Oh, it's, it's a thing. Is it a... 
some sort of a top for something. Got a hole there. It is some sort of a relic. Uh, as to what it is, I'm not sure. But it might be maybe a tobacco tin lid or something, possibly. What do you think? Right, lovely jubbly. Oh, I got a lovely one year. Twelve forty-seven. Could be a big chunk of silver. Oh, I reckon I got a hoard. Right there. Oh, oh it's growing full of rocks. Oh, it's all claggy because it's been raining. Oh. Oh. oh, I've lost it. Dug it out. Right, I'm gonna get back to you if I find it. Oh, I'm knackered. I'm gonna have to have a rest. <laughs> I've been digging down through these rocks, down and down and down. Eventually, I get to it, and it is one of them. Now, don't get any ideas. It's not an ancient relic because it's got iron up around the edge. Look, I was looking for holes because you know you get those watering can things, don't you, with the holes in? Uh, it's not one of them. So whatever that is. Well, it's giving me a banging signal. <laughs> banging that way up, look. Oh yeah, all that. It's just bounce with and if you get if 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 you ever see anybody doing these tests when they do a test of their metal detecting depth, if you put something like that, like that, concaved pointing like that, it gives a banging signal. So you know they're cheating if they've got anything shaped like that. Uh, something to do with it being bounced around. Yeah. Oh, I'm going gonna, gonna to have a breast. I'm knackered. That's it, me lovers. We're cream crackered. We're heading off to the pub for some jars of ale. Cheers. 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 <laughs>